Hey everybody, FSI Expedite here. Um, front seat information on expediting. Anything that happens, anything that I come in contact with or encounter and I use as a method or whatever to help me, I come on here, I throw it up on here so that way everyone can get the information. Uh, we need to all share stuff to be more professional at our job. We need to learn off each other, so that's what I do. Today's topic is communication. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the dispatch communication, you know, between you and dispatch and all that. That's got to be good too, you know. Confirm when you get there, confirm when you leave, I get it. What I'm talking about is, uh, first of all, I want to put out a disclosure here, is you have to make sure that this is okay with your uh, place of business, whoever you run for. Uh, you have to make sure that what I'm about to say is okay with any contract or any rules that they have. And if they don't, then obviously, you know, ask them first and, and go from there. Communication is, for me, as soon as I get my dispatch, I contact the shipper and I contact the consignee immediately. And I say, so-and-so delivering one skid, 500 pounds, uh, dispatch has me there at 8 a.m., just wanted to check in. Sometimes it's a very friendly conversation and you know, then you hang up the phone and you wait and see them the next day, right? Other times they go ahead and say, you know, I get this a lot down south. They're like, yeah, we're, we're open 24 hours, feel free to come sooner or some, some, something along those lines, which allows you to go there, either pick up or deliver a lot sooner than dispatch says. There's holiday hours, weekend hours, pandemic hours, that are updated sometimes that are not clear across the board, uh, like updated across everything, so people might not know when they dispatch you. Um, so, excuse me, go ahead and communicate, if you can, to your shipper and your consignee, and see if you can get in and out earlier. Because the sooner you can get loaded or unloaded, allows you to take time off of the day that you, the uh, dispatch you're on. So if I'm getting a load, I gotta pick up at eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow, instead of sitting out here, uh, wherever I'm at, you know, all day, trying to figure out what to do, if I call and they can get me in earlier, I go in, I get picked up, I update my status, and uh, all that time allows me to take time off my shipper too. But if my shipper, if my constantly still says, no, you have to deliver at this time, that's good though, because as long as you can knock off either the pickup or the delivery any time earlier, then, then that's good. You're, uh, you're, uh, and then you're also helping out dispatch because you can say, yeah, well, you know, I did my check-in and their pandemic hours are updated until, you know, January, 2022, for example. And now dispatch can update that and then other drivers from here on out will be, you know, advised of that too, if somebody else has to go there. So you're helping all across the board if your communication is good. So like I said, only if you can communicate directly, driver to shipper and driver to Cassini before you actually arrive there. Sometimes, some places you can't do that, so just check in first with your place of business or work and check. But like I said, communication with the shipper and Cassini can be very beneficial to you and everybody else. So. FSI expedites front seat information. I like to share anything that I do that helps me because anything that helps me will help you. And uh, until next time, we will talk to you later. Drive safe and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.